morning, good afternoon, good evening. It is one of those things wherever you are watching this video. So it's morning here and I am having a taste test and review of Starbucks Beyond Meat breakfast sandwich. Yes, you heard it, Beyond Meat. I love Beyond Meat burgers. This is vegan. It's even got vegan cheese in. It's even got a tofu turmeric egg. Now, I don't know how that works, but it's a, it's an egg alternative. That's alternative, isn't it? So that's vegan, right? So I'll bring that to the camera. Look at that. Bargain, right? There's your nutritional information, should you need it. I don't eat it. Eat it? I'm going to eat it. I just don't really need that. I'm just going to do a lot of exercise. So, and this is Donna and Blitzen's Blue Cheese and Chutney Toasty with cranberries on the top. So, I'm going to whack these in the George Foreman and, uh, and do you a taste test and review. A Starbucks. I wouldn't even consider going into Starbucks for food normally, but um, I did yesterday. And I was pleasantly surprised to see what range they've got. Because I thought they just did coffee and like flapjacks, you know, and maybe a muffin. So anyway, to the George. Hello campers. Just wanted to show you this one. This bad boy. Check that. Oof. That looks saucy. So that's basically a posh cheese toasty. It's the, I think it must be part of the, the, festive range because it's called Blitzen's Blue Cheese and Chutney Toasty. So I've just whacked in the George. The uh, the vegan burger is uh, is still in there because it was a bit thicker. So I, but I just thought I'd show you that as we're getting on. And I reckon the vegan burger might be done by now. So let's get them both on a plate and do a taste test. This is the best bit. <laughs> right, this bad boy is a vegan and it's just come out of the uh, George so I, I toasted the buns as well to soften them up so you've got a nice bit of vegan cheese which has held itself together actually oh look at this food porn that's vegan cheese and that's held its held its way up so there's the Beyond Meat uh, burger and on top of that is what they're calling the like turmeric tofu egg replacement but the burgers made of pea protein um if you've had if you haven't tried beyond burgers before beyond me just honestly they're epic <laughs> like i don't realize that i'm not eating meat so that i mean that's really good for something from starbucks you know that's that's quality so the roll's nice so looks like a nice sourdough roll turmeric egg so right let's get the camera a little bit lower so you can see what's what i might have to do the old new york lean oh no i'm all right i'm all right so let's get the viking knife out this is that time of day let's get this cut in half sorry if i've offended you by cutting it that way you know i did fancy triangles today i'm random i do i do different things in different ways so this is basically just a posh toasty so we can have a look inside but it's got blue cheese in it so yeah i mean you know they're not whoops they're not uh scrimping on the fillings i can like you know it's all nice and yummy nice cranberries on top so should i cut this in half and show you i think i should game of two halves there you go that looks nice and substantial i'm looking forward to this something different it's like you know a nice vegan breakfast from starbucks of all places right what should i get into first oh do you know what i'm gonna get into the cheese toasty because this is festive i'm not feeling festive just yet i don't know why it's uh, probably because it's still november and it's just died raining outside, so, you know. Mm. 
Oh my days. Oh my days. Okay. Never thought I'd say it. I'm a Starbucks fan. This is lot. Hmm. It's not vegan cheese, but it's vegetarian. So let me get my glasses on. I don't know what colour I've gone with today. Green again. So apple apple chutney and cheesy sauce a sharp still and crumb you can really taste the still and it's absolutely beautiful it's mozzarella full fat cheese cheddar cheese emmental cheese and bechamel sauce blue blue still and it's lovely so if you're a vegetarian i totally and utterly recommend this if you like blue cheese Mm. Oh, I just dripped a bit of the the Bechamel sauce, turning this piece not vegan anymore. This piece still is. It's so good, I can't stop eating it. Seriously. Oh, wow. Okay, this is making me happy. On a dreary rainy day in Cornwall, this is happy food. Wow! And there's a Starbucks just around the corner for me. What amazing snacks! Or breakfast, or lunches. Hmm. Whenever I'm doing something like this, I think to myself, I'm like. If I can stick this in the George Foreman and it can be ready in five minutes and I'm watching a TV show and I get a bit of tummy rumble, this is perfect. Wow, so that's a total win for me. That was divine. Mm. If it's a festive thing, that's the only thing that makes me sad. Is that that won't be on the menu all the time because it really should be um you know whoever created that is a, is a genius right okay so now i'm going in for the the beyond meat breakfast sandwich so this is cool because i love meat replacement stuff oh divine as well I've never had vegan egg before. Mainly because when I was a vegan, um, I kept my own hens and I kind of disagreed with the fact that, I know this is controversial, but I kind of disagreed with the fact that um, the eggs were, were not vegan, like because my hens were happy, loved and looked after. But anyway, I'm not here to be controversial. But um, So even when I was vegan, I was eating hens for my... Eating hens? That's not vegan. <laughs> I was eating chickens for my own hens who were, who were pets. So I considered the eggs to be waste products, you know. And I, and I gave the chickens lots of love. Mm. But... I'm just somebody now that loves, I still love vegan food, I love vegetarian food, but, and if, if something tastes as good as meat, which the Beyond products do, I'll happily replace them, <laughs> you know, like it's like if I'm not eating a burger, I'd rather have a Beyond Meat burger than a, than a real meat burger, because they taste just as good, in my opinion. Mm. This is delicious. This whole thing is delicious. It all works. Even the vegan cheese 
still uh, melted in the grill perfectly because some vegan cheese has a weird melting point and it doesn't you know doesn't cook properly and can ruin ruin foods and stuff like that oh i'm my, i'm really happy with this this is some of the best food i've had this week i'm shocked it's from starbucks i always drive past these places thinking ah, I'm, i wouldn't go near for food i don't drink that much coffee but this is a this is a mind changer i'm shocked at the uh quality of this food it's absolutely brilliant so um i went in and bought these on a too good to go deal so there's an app called too do too good to go and it sell, it sells stuff instead of like the company's throwing away food it's it sells stuff at greatly reduced prices so i paid i paid a pound each for these <laughs> and they were so worth it the only problem is i don't know how much they were because there was no receipt but all you've got to do is download the too good to go app and you'll see all your local restaurants supermarkets and stuff that are literally selling things at such reduced prices and i totally agree with it because i can't stand food waste um so there's no point in you know throwing away food that's 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 criminal so when you can sell it at a reduced price and and people like me and like you can get top quality food i mean my breakfast cost me two pounds i couldn't have cooked that for two pounds and i tell you what for the value for money just purely on taste alone whoa i i i i get a bit obsessed with with um Thing, things like I have miso every day and stuff like that but I, I could probably eat these every day for like maybe a couple of weeks before I'm like what am I doing <laughs> it's like I, I need to stop but the these are absolutely brilliant so look at that one last look that was the the Stilton cheese toasty with bechamel sauce and and cranberries on top that was absolutely brilliant and that is a totally vegan apart from a little bit of bechamel that I dripped down it there that Okay, gone now. That was their totally vegan um, breakfast bat with a vegan egg, uh, turmeric in it as well. So nice superfood, and uh, the 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 patties made of pre pea protein. So Starbucks gets all the thumbs. That's amazing. Absolutely love it. So one last look at the packets, so you know what you're in if you want to go in there. And if you want to grab a bargain, you know, try try out that Too Good To Go app. It's available on Android and Apple and everything else. I'm not affiliated with any of these people or any of these products. This is this channel is just purely for fun. And maybe one day I'll be a YouTube millionaire in like maybe 50 years. Who knows? But anyway, <laughs> please go, drop us a like. A subscription would be lovely. I'm floating around the 750 mark right now and I need to get to the magic thousand. So, and uh, yeah, please uh, keep watching the videos. And uh, I, I'm going to keep doing this because it's fun and it's winter. And I've got nothing better to do. <laughs> hey, all right, much love to you all. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.